reserved, you're going to have to move this vehicle. You parked in the wrong spot. Dennis, how's it going, man? Good. Sir, thank you for coming out. What do we got going on? Spinning your Friday. Oh, 
vocês. All right, uh, Dennis is in back. He's taping down the, uh, the power. Electrical power has been pulled here. Uh, we've got a uh, three-way feeder off of that's going to run all the stuff for the monitor and for the front of house. And uh, here is the front of house power ready to go out there. Um, we've got the speaker wires pulled. Uh, it's just got the monitors connected. But um, everything's sort of stubbed in between here and uh, over here, so should speed up the whole process. One amp and do all one four. amp, yeah, and all four channels. Yeah, okay. um, yeah, uh, channels A and B. No, it's a, it's four channel mode. Okay, so that's going to be on one channel. Uh -huh. Channel one, channel two. Okay, monitors channel three, and channel four. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to use this one here. Okay, we're going to use this one. This is a hundred feet. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll. Um, in fact, I can probably get here. No, I'm good. Send it to you. We're going to run parallel right with the power. Sure. There you go. Okay. Let me get out here and I'll feed it to you. Perfect. And you may you may want to go ahead and pull that out to make sure it lays flat. Okay. I want to get enough about enough up here. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll pull some back. All right, man. Anyway, I'm gonna leave about six feet there on your side. It's gonna go right in here into. I've got it marked as plain. Okay. You got it? All right, and that is it. Okay. Okay? I'm going to hang this one back up. Okay, here. until we're done? Yeah, um, I think so. Oh. Yeah, let me get that fan. Right, just go right here with it. Mm -hmm. I want to fetch you, I'll take it. Yes, it does. There you go. 
We still have stuff that we have to connect in here. busy uh, trying to get stuff together uh, as far as the amount of equipment that we have here it's not too bad but this is one of the most challenging shows to do just because the stage is so live with all the different acts these mics uh, all these mics move uh, they change positions the okay. monitors change positions all right let's go back and try out the mic check one two 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 um, it could probably be loud over here. I can hear it over here. <laughs> check. One, two. Yeah. Two. Check, check, check. Okay. That sounds um, good. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to take it to the main. Let me hear. Okay. Check. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. All right, like I've uh, mentioned in probably past videos here, uh, we don't have that much gear out here, however, because um, there's a lot of people that are going to be moving around here, uh, walking around here, that 
we have to do a lot of um, extra work to make sure stuff is covered. Uh, covering this actually took some time. And our setup um, is usually about the same as what we have, is what we have used um, in the past with where things are. But you can tell we're using the uh, digital snake. Um, and actually this case, um, this case weighs, the case with everything in it, including the UPS, weighs more than the analog snake that we normally use for this event. But, um, so anyway, we're gonna be using digital. Um, as I said before, digital is just a tool, just like analog is a tool. So we're gonna try out this tool. Uh, for this event So uh, this this setup uh, that we did here this took um, what times it now this took five hours to do uh, It doesn't seem like much, but um, this was a solid five hours of work and that included uh, trying to ring out the uh, mics uh, For what we did we usually don't ring out the system uh, in an empty hall like this but if we get close enough to Reducing some of the offending frequencies. That's just maybe something less we have to worry about all right, well, I think we're done for tonight, so we're going to be back. Okay, it's the uh, next uh, morning. We've got about an hour and a half before the show officially starts, uh, but we probably have another two hours of work ahead of us. Most of the stuff done. Um, we had a, a wireless issue with the um, uh, the fiddle, so we're having to run it uh, just one mic over it, which uh, should work out okay. And um, as I said in uh, past videos of this event, the noise floor in here can be extremely loud. So trying to bring something intimate like a violin over the crowd in a very noisy environment is. Uh, extremely difficult to do. And on uh, front of house uh, is Dennis today. Uh, he was here uh, yesterday uh, helping me set up. You tell this is a very tight space over here. Not much room between a vendor tent and where we need to keep the gear. Okay, the uh, first four inputs you see there with the uh, blue lines on it. That's for a uh, sub snake we've got sitting at the front of the stage, just underneath it. Uh, the other inputs that are coming in, uh, that you see over here with the red lights on them as well, those are all going to DI boxes. Uh, there's supposed to be an assortment of instruments coming in that need uh, phantom power. And then we're working on getting um, some of the other uh, inputs set up. Uh, there's supposed to be a a uh, much larger band coming in. I think they're supposed to have maybe uh, close to nine, maybe nine or ten uh, microphones uh, to cover, I think it's uh, 12 instruments. So we're going to see how that goes. So we've had a couple of stage changes, and now they're going to be doing some presentation of flags. So the mics have changed positions. Uh, the monitors uh, are not uh, at the mics because we're going to have people in front. Okay, any sound you hear is coming from the monitors.
ready? Ready to the same. Ready to the same. This event is in a hall that's probably uh, two and a half times bigger than uh, where they were originally. So the noise floor is usually been on the upper 80s, uh, but it's not appear to be that loud. I think it's because uh, people have some place to spread out. There's a lot more area for people to be in. So there's not a high concentration of people around the uh, stage area. Dennis on front of house. I've been out there uh, a few times here listening to the mix. Excellent job. These open holes like this are very difficult to write good uh, sound in. I said before that the uh, the stage is, does not stay as one thing; it's one cohesive unit. Mics moving around, monitors moving around, uh, performers moving around. A lot is changing all the time. All right, this is the uh, dining area of the festival. Uh, it's actually quite full. So far, everything seems to be going okay with the uh, digital snake. Uh, earlier, we had a problem where um, I don't know if we lost connectivity or what the issue was, but it lasted about one second. And um, it didn't really impact anything. If somebody was speaking and we lost connectivity for a second, so I'm not too sure what's going on with that.
right, uh, just did another uh, stage change. We got the uh, four vocal mics set up. They are in back. The choir is going to be singing back here, and up in front is going to be a bunch of kids. So we've got the monitor speaker sitting up here, but they are pointing directly back. Uh, and the piano only is going to be in here. Uh, the hall gets real quiet when they do this, uh, this uh, Lucia. So we have the only thing they need in there is just a piano. Okay, so all in all, uh, this actually did pretty good. We had one issue with, uh, looks like maybe some latency uh, early on. So uh, Dennis working in the front of the house told me what, what he was doing with the console when the latency occurred. So I'm gonna try to set it up and uh, see if I can get it to duplicate.
so those should last quite a while. If not, no big deal. Put it on the outside of that side. Ready? Okay. Oh. Nice. <laughs>